In this video, we're going to be looking at backing up over a network with Rustic. So right now I have this network share connected labeled C. I'm going to go ahead and create a new repository on this network drive. So we'll do Rustic. And I can either put the letter path to the network drive. I could do the IP address. Or I could do the name of the server. So I'll just use the letter path here. So we'll do C and I'll call the repository media init. We do snapshots. We have nothing. Let's go ahead and back up some data. We do backup and I'll back up my documents. And there we go. And it's done. We list our snapshots. LS one latest. And we see our documents and our one snapshot. Let's do this again, but this time let's go ahead and add our other media folders. I'll add videos and music. And this time, I'm going to supply the read concurrent or read concurrency option. This allows you to specify how many files Rustic should be transferring at a time. By default, I believe it's set to two, but we can increase this if we want more transfer. I'll change it to five. And you'll notice we have more files being transferred. And it's complete. And we have our documents, music, and videos. So we'll do Rustic Restore from Z Media on our latest snapshot. And we'll include the music folder and send it over to a folder on the desktop called Restore. And we see our music folder is back. I'm now going to add my pictures folder. And now pictures is added. So you can see pretty simple to back up to a network. Now, I want to show you backing up from a network. I'll go ahead and create a new repo on my desktop here and call it media. And this time I'm going to back up data from my NAS to this local repository on my desktop. And I'm going to back up my user guides folders and my documents stored on the NAS. And I'm going to use the server name. Well, actually I'll just use the IP address. Do 192.168 and we're looking for documents and user guides. And we want to back that up. And it's done. Now I want to show you because this is a glaring issue I have with Rustic. We have our snapshots here and we have our path. If we try to restore this, let's do restore latest and send it over to the desktop we will get an error for some reason Rustic does not like restoring from files with ip addresses or server names such as this in windows a fix for this is to simply use the subfolder restore syntax we could do Rustic, and i'll do ls on latest to get our path and i want to restore my Documents folder, and we'll just copy this, excluding that first slash. And we'll do Rustic Restore from our latest snapshot. And we'll copy the path as such and send it to the desktop. And that will allow you to restore your files. 
this is something to keep in mind if you want to back up from a network using the IP address or the server name. This is the only way you can restore that data currently with Rustic. This is not an issue on other platforms such as Linux where you can use the standard restore syntax such as this one. In the next section, we'll be looking at backing up to the cloud featuring Amazon S3.